European University, which is also in Tbilisi, the capital. Now this one does medicine and dentistry. Um, so the medicine, six year English taught MD. The dentistry is a, a five year English taught DMD. Um, again, there's no entrance exam, the same as uh, TMA. Uh, tuition fees here are a little bit less, as you can see. Um, so around four and a half thousand pounds, 4,800 euros per year. Cost of living, of course, around the same, being in Tbilisi. Uh, again, there are dormitories available, and they do intakes in March and October, which is, again, the same as uh, Tbilisi Medical Academy. So very, very similar, um, you know, in terms of their, their initial kind of setup. Uh, moving on from there. So some of the features, again, you've got access to full libraries. So this is another university where you're not going to have to uh, go anywhere else for this. You have everything you need on campus. So when you're studying hard and you just need to quickly get to the library, it's all there, it's all available, and it's all made convenient for you specifically. And carrying on from there, uh, again, you've got access to uh, laboratories, state-of-the-art facilities that they have there. Uh, moving on from there. Again, the well-equipped rooms. Um, this university uh, is slightly bigger class sizes than uh, Tbilisi Medical Academy. They do take on um, a slightly larger number and cohort of students each year. And carrying on from there. Okay, so some of the dental equipment. You can see here some of the phantom heads. Um, again, like the anatomy um, facilities that we saw with Tbilisi Medical Academy before, um, this equipment for dentists is vital um, to helping you get a good understanding and good practice and experience before you start those years with real patient uh, interactions. And again, you've got the simulation rooms, so very similar again uh, to what we saw before with TMA. You've got the dummies that you'll be doing your practices on, um, that you'll be getting tested on um, to ensure your, your levels and your abilities are, are good enough, obviously, to work with real patients so that when you go into those real clinical settings, you will have um, the most experience and the most confidence that you need. Uh, and then a, a little look at their dormitories here. Um, they've got some really nice dormitories available with the European University. Um, they are quite hard to, to get a hold of with, with this one in particular. Um, so you have to make sure you apply fast uh, for the dormitories. That's a, a little tip. And carrying on from there. Uh, so extracurricular and leisure activities. So similar again to TMA before, they've got medical championships. Um, they've got a lot of different sports, even chess teams as well. Um, and again, lots of welcome parties. They really want to make you feel comfortable and well adjusted, uh, allow you an opportunity to get to know the other students in your year and later years. Um, lots of different trips um, and different events and exchange programs involved uh, with this one as well. Okay, so moving on from there, uh, we then have our guest student for the European University in Tbilisi. Uh, are you with us? I'm in. Hi, uh, can you tell us uh, a little bit, oh sorry, Google Letha, is it you that's, that's there? Yes. Um, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very well. Can you tell us a little bit about your personal experience at the European University? Yeah, of course. So um, I'm just going to start from the beginning of my journey. I'm currently, um, I'm about to start my fourth semester. I'm studying dentistry at European University. And yeah, just from the beginning, I'll, I'll be honest, when I was in this situation that many of you guys are in now, I was quite skeptical uh, with meddling. I wasn't sure. I was like, is this going to be a scam? Is this going to be one of those um, just things that don't really uh, uh, become anything? So I, I came across meddling when I was um, just a bit stuck. I had studied... Um, dental nursing and dental hygiene and therapy. I was in the middle of studying dental hygiene and therapy, but I had always wanted to do dentistry. So it was a big dream of mine. And I had attempted to go to get into dentistry here in the UK. And of course, as we know how competitive it was, um, I, I wasn't able to get in here. So feeling a bit hopeless, I just went online and I was looking at, you know, studying um, abroad. I wasn't very serious about it. <laughs> But then I came across Medlink and I put my number down on the website and I got a call and I think it was actually from yourself, Tom. I got a call and that's when I started to think, okay, maybe this is a little bit legitimate. And then I ended up in a, a webinar like this 
and yeah that's how basically everything got started for me um so the next steps for me was I was I wasn't sure where in Europe I wanted to go um so I spoke to Tom and we looked at the different options and I think one of my main um sort of concerns was like money being that I would have been uh, dependent on my parents I didn't want to be I didn't want it to be too much of a financial strain for them so I looked at my options and then we ended up deciding that um, European University the university in Tbilisi would be best for me with the low cost of living and everything over there and I think I was also told Georgia is one of the safest countries um, world- worldwide I think it's maybe fourth on the list if I'm not wrong um so that kind of you know put me at ease as well so then I, I I went ahead with this and I put my application through and with the application process really it was quite simple a lot of it was taken care of by meddling um I didn't really have to worry about too much I just provided everything that um I was asked to provide you know with passports you know past education things like that. So I, I, um, I submitted all of that. And before I knew it, I had an interview and uh, interview went well. I was, you know, well equipped for the interview. I was told, you know, what kind of questions to expect and yeah, things like that. So I did my interview and it was a success. I, I got accepted quite quickly after my interview. I remember being super excited, but at the same time, like really anxious, nervous, like what even is Georgia? I didn't even know when the country existed before um, this whole process. So I started doing a little bit more research, looking online at um where I'm going and stuff like that. Um, but I think the main thing for me was that I was very keen to explore. I was prepared for the culture sho- shock um, because I just knew it was going to be a completely different place. Um, I think as long as you're open-minded and you accept that, you know, it's going to be a new experience, um, it goes pretty well. So um, Medlink um, hooked me up with someone who... Um, accepted us or received us from the airport so we had a driver and they took us to the place that we're going to be staying and we had help with opening a bank account well um they helped us with that opening a bank account and getting a sim card things like that things that you don't really think about necessarily when you're over here what we all want to hear what uh sorry just to interrupt that but Mm -hmm. i i know a lot of people here uh they want to know what's the education like there how have you found it um, it's been very good, actually. I think one thing I was impressed by or noticed was that, like with different subjects, um, the they all correlate in the sense that um, if you're maybe studying, say, the circulatory system, you would be in physiology, you'd be studying the physiological aspect of it. And then in biology, you're looking at the biology of it or the biochemistry of it. So that's pretty helpful. It kind of helps you get a more holistic understanding of what you're learning. And um, the lecturers are very helpful. They're always willing to help with whatever questions you have. They explain as best as they can. And of course, it's in English, which is one of the <laughs> concerns that I had as well. Um, yeah, I think it's been really good in that sense. Fantastic, because a lot of people, they really worry about going to these countries that maybe they'll just be put there with a textbook or with a, a PowerPoint presentation on the board in front of them, and they'll just have to copy things off of it. But from what yeah. you're saying, it's very engaging experience for you. Absolutely. It's very engaging. You get your lectures and then you get the more um, tutorial based classes where you get to interact and actually talk about the lectures and, you know, get a more deeper understanding and explanation as well from the lecturers. Fantastic. And have you uh, joined in in any of the the social events or the sporting clubs or, or anything like that yourself? Yes, we've had a few um, parties, like we had the Christmas parties and the New Year's parties, as well as the uh, welcome parties that are there every year. Um, That's always a good way to socialize with the people around and get to know who the rest of the colleagues are. Um, I think initially uh, I had started like during COVID, so I didn't get to meet my classmates or get to know anyone really around campus. But as soon as COVID was over, you get to interact with other people. And yeah, it's been it's been really good, honestly. And I think as of lately, I think the last semester, this semester before, there's been a lot more 
uh, British students coming into my university particularly. So that's been great as well to feel like, okay, I'm not alone here. There's other people going through the same uh, thing that I'm going through. Fantastic. Google Ed, yeah. thank you so much again for, for sharing everything with us. Uh, we may be coming back to you. Um, so hold on if you can, uh, when we get to the Q and A, um, I'm sure a lot of people watching want to hear uh, more of what you have to say and, and more about your experiences and, and kind of how you've developed. And can I say as well, from my perspective, it's been amazing kind of when I spoke to you that first time um, and you were so nervous before and you yeah. really, like you said, you had no idea about any of this. And now to have you here as a rep, representative you know representing the students there um you know and sharing your experiences and helping like-minded students to take that leap of faith it's a, a fantastic thing so hats off to you great thank you <laughs> you're welcome